Welcome to Basically Morning, the talk show that airs so late at night. It's Basically Morning. I'm your host, Aiden Burns, with Liam, Trenton, Roman, Lily, and Dominic this time as our special guest. Today is a bit different. We're going to stray off the beat path from structure to a bit more improvised. We're going to be talking about school stories because school's right around the corner. So just to get everyone in the spirit, hopefully in a better mood than most of you already are, uh, talk about our wacky experiences from school. All right. So yeah, I am the guy who hosted a cooking competition. And it's actually kind of a funny story of how that came to be. Because the idea was given to me back in like December of last year when someone just kind of suggested it. And, I'm like, and then the thought was in my head like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'll do that at some point. And then like four months later, I think it was like March or April. I'm like, okay, lunch has been pretty boring. So how about we actually do that now? So then literally like at the end of biology one day, I just like sat next to Trenton and then had this Google doc on my phone. I was like, hey, read it. <laughs> So then Trenton read it, and then we told our advisory class and informed them of the cooking competition. And then very quickly, things started rolling as me and Trenton started setting up schedules and asking people if they wanted to join. And although there were some major compli- well not major, but almost were major complications, like we originally were supposed to do the first round on Tuesday, but then um, two of the people didn't have their food, or at least one of them didn't have it up to their standards. But then we had to do a bunch of schedule messing around with, but no one cares about that stuff. So yeah, that, that's my story. I once threw a chair at somebody. Max was being a piece of crap, so I threw a chair at him. Yeah. Oh, we get WWE on him in sixth grade. That's reasonable. Honestly, that's reasonable. Yeah. Did you get in trouble? No. <laughs> Understandable. What class was this? He helped the W. Oh, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, to, 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 I just... <laughs> I mean, when a sixth grader throws a chair at somebody at, like, Mach 5, are you really gonna get that person in trouble? My my story is kind of like a string of stories, but it's it's the, the saga of the school board not letting us have fun. Okay, yeah. so basically, oh. on... We, we go to school, at least at my school, we go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Thursday, we get to go into this back parking lot during the last half of lunch break and, like, play around with this stuff over there, have some fun. So it's like a basketball hoop, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then they had these, like, they were, like, paddles that you would have on your hand. I'll, I'll put up, like, a photo as a reference, but then they had Velcro and then some tennis balls that you could throw and you would catch it with the Velcro paddle. It was fun. We would have fun doing this. But then, all the balls got lost, so we couldn't play with balls anymore. So, we were like, huh, what do we do now? We're all out of balls. So... <laughs> Okay, so, uh, we, we instead were like, hey, these things could work like a frisbee, so we had two lines of kids on opposite ends of the parking lot, throwing these discs, but they're really fast, and they hurt a lot, so it was like throwing rocks at each other, and it was a blast, we were having a great time, um, I hit one of my friends on the shoulder, uh, I gave one kid a haircut, it was a great time. <laughs> And then they, they, when we threw them against the wall too hard, they would shatter. Like, into oh three oh pieces. God. There was the top part, which was like a normal frisbee. Um, there was like a disc that, when you threw it, it was low, cool, it wasn't that cool. And then there was a little Velcro part, which was sharp. <laughs> it was sharp. It was so fun. <laughs> um, Keep in mind, no yes, we're like in high school stars, at this right? point. So, um... <laughs> We, we were having fun, and then we come back, we were going to do it again, but then one of the teachers was like, Hey, the school board, school board said you're not allowed to do that anymore. So, Aiden had the bright idea for us to start jumping over tables. <laughs> it was a blast. We were all having so much fun. And then we come back the next week, and it's like, Sorry, guys, school board said you can't jump over tables anymore. 
Dude, that so time, bad. no one even got Disc, food. disc. We came back in life, and we had, like, no toys left. So, we had, um, a bunch of frisbees. And we were, like, we, we were playing... You know, like, at the fair, they had that game, that ring toss game, where you throw the ring on the bottle? It was like that, but with people and hula hoops instead of rings and bottles. Oh, that's fine. It, yeah, it was fun. We were having a great time. Nobody was getting hurt. But uh, then they didn't let us do that anymore. And then we started having fights with the hula hoops. Oh. So, like, you know how when you throw a hula hoop like that, it'll roll yeah. and then it'll come back? Yeah, so we would yeah. do that as an attack. And then oh. I... I I tied a jump rope to one of the hoops so I could throw it and then pull it back to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had. And then they said, no, we're not allowed to do that anymore. And so the next thing we did is we played baseball. We had a half deflated volleyball <laughs> and then we took um, a table leg From off a table. of a broken table that was just in the middle of the street. And then we we used that to play um uh baseball. Oh. Actually I hit the ball over the fence. <laughs> With the little thing <laughs> about that. I couldn't even wrap my hands around it. It was like this. Yeah, the the thing was huge. So it it was fun though. And then we weren't allowed to do that either. So then we played tetherball. But for the longest time, we had a tetherball pole, but we didn't have a tetherball. We didn't know where it was. And then one day it showed up again, so we were able to use it. And then the tetherball pole disappeared, and it was just the ball with the tether. Um, so then, Roman grabbed the tetherball and started swinging it at people. And it was really <laughs> fun! And then we came back and they said we couldn't do it anymore. It's a bit more understandable, but... Right. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. hey, we were having fun, nobody got hurt. Uh, during lunch, people just start, people just started like, like grouping up, seeing like if we can carry each other on their on their backs, or something like that. And so, I, I, I never say, hey, how about you get on my back? Because I'm just like, I just wait to see if they will like ask me. And so I'm like, sure. Girl, Alina, Alina gets on my back. And I just start running away, uh, <laughs> just across campus, with the, with the woman on my back. So. So this so this was this was during class, right? And, and then we had to go outside. And so the teacher just let us do whatever we want. And so we were just hanging around. And then so everyone started like putting their arms in their shirts and acting them out as sleeves. <laughs> and so they started they started like waving like like waving me around, like started hitting him at people. And so it started out as an all-out war. And so I have I have a brawl out with Kira. You you know Kira, right, Aiden? Yeah. I have yeah. an all-out brawl with Kira. And so she she uh, we just start circling around, and then so she she throws the first punch. Her phone falls out of her pocket. No screen cover, by the way. It hits the ground. It hits it hits her phone hits the ground. Screen first, and then so okay. And then and then Mariah hits the phone off of the person recording the event, and her phone breaks too. So two phones, two phones break at the same time. Literally was in the like five seconds. Like, and, like, yeah, <laughs> like they break at the same time. And and what's really funny is that if you pause the video right at the specific frame, which Roman landed on when he yeah, I, I Yeah, I got that accident. image too. Um, so you can see the moment when the girl who dropped the first phone sees that her phone is broken. You can see just the, the sadness on her face. <laughs> and then right smack dab in the middle of the image is just me in the background with a sprite shirt just watching the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite images of all time. Um, and then for one of the projects, our teacher, uh, I forget why, but she was having us do like, like an experiment. She called it the prison experiment. Now in this game, it was simple. There, there was... Uh, a deck of cards and like teams of four or five and the, but two of them would be the guards okay they would go off and create like five rules for the game but these rules would be like um they would play either like like uno solitaire no not solitaire like no they, they would, they, they, they would, something like yeah, that yeah. On, with the cards yeah, yeah, yeah. but there were specialized rules to where that the prisoners did not know so like if you placed down a seven of hearts, you had to do the chicken dance. Um, and so they had all these rules like that, but since only those two knew about it, everybody else didn't, and would have to figure it out as they went along. 
and just hope that they didn't get humiliated too much, because there was no regulations on this, which is where the issues come up. Roman, please continue. Oh, oh, um, so there, there, so, so there started some revolts in the prison escape experiment. I, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling my side of the story. <laughs> Where I'm side of the I'm story a, is the I, fun I, one. I'm, I'm, okay, bye, mother. Okay, <laughs> so, I'm, I'm only telling my side of the story. So, it was basically, so my side was calm. I, for some reason, was just, was just there, just not caring. Then I just see Kira, like, just start, like, having her own, like, game. Like, okay, you, it, you guys you guys know Kira. She, if you give her power, she will go crazy. So, you know, basically, I think the most disturbing part about that is that the teacher specifically picked, hand-picked, all the right, that she was, knew would come up with all the ridiculous... That was her intention. She, I talked to her about that. She was like, oh, yeah, I picked these guys on purpose. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, Anyways, so, okay, wait, Liam, 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 I'm gonna let you to continue because you know this side of the story. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as I think Robin put it pretty well. If you give Kira power, better find somewhere to hide. Kira was ruthless. <laughs> she, she was chosen as a guard and she had no mercy. She slapped someone in the face of a book. She choked someone. <laughs> not, not actually, but like. Okay. Uh, no, she did. Choking, oh, she actually choking did. Choking one was because the one girl had stolen a card from her, I think. So she chased her around the room for a couple minutes, and then tackled her to the ground and got her in a chokehold. <laughs> and then she stopped me constantly on the ground. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she, she just. Um, she stomped on me. Wait, is she the something. same one? Sure, so you didn't eight. enjoy it, Liam? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all the time we have today. This this was basically morning. Natasha, they're still at night. It's basically morning. We'll see you next time with more stories, more school, <laughs> and hopefully less stomping, unless you want it. In that case, me, jail. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye. We're living in a society. We live in a society. No. <laughs> Roman, come back. Roman, come back. Oh my god. <laughs>